Aloha and welcome to this screencast, the guided tour of the pregame module. This is module that is completely optional, but is important to get you ready for starting ICS 314. So first off, I want to talk about the laptop requirements for ICS 314. You really do need a professional laptop for this class. We'll be doing work in class in, and so you're going to need to bring your laptop with you. You want a new laptop, reasonably new laptop. If it's more than about two, three years old, the performance just isn't there and it's often difficult to be able to install the software that we're going to need for this course. We also want to have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. More RAM is never bad. Uh, we'll be using Next.js, which is a React um, operating system, and it has a. We're going to be using Postgres database. We're going to be using VS Code. So we're going to, and you're going to be using Chrome to open it up. So when all these things are running, that will use up a lot of RAM. So you just need a lot, a significant amount of RAM. Um, some of the MacBook Pros come with eight gigs. In the past, that is barely sufficient, but can make your day frustrating just because it slows down your thing. Similarly, for slow things, you do want a solid state hard drive. The speed of those spinning disks are just too slow. Um, so SSDs are actually a great way to go. Again, if you prefer, you should prefer having Mac OS or Linux boxes. It just makes development easier. Um, Windows is good for .NET, but we're not going to be doing Windows. If you do use Windows, and you can use Windows, there's nothing wrong with Windows. It's just generally things are slower on Windows because you need that virus scanner running at real time. Um, you may also want to think about installing the Windows subsystem for Linux, so you're actually running Linux in Windows. And you also want a lot of pixels. We're going to have websites we're going to be looking at, we're going to be building web applications, you're going to have an editor open, you're going to have a browser open, you're going to have a shell open. There's just tons of stuff. Doing it on a 12 inch screen is possible, but as you can tell, my eyesight's going, so I'd much rather have a larger screen. 15 or 16 is better. Um, running that tablet versus a 12 inch laptop versus a cute tablet, tablets just are not powerful enough for the software engineering that we're gonna be doing in this class. So if you can, and I highly recommend that you get a good laptop, it will be, serve you for the, for the years in college. And then when you get your job as a high paid software engineer, you can go splurge on one of the high end when, when you're being paid the big bucks. Second thing to look about when you're working this is to learn about the command line. Um, if you're not familiar with the command line, like how to use a shell and navigating around the shell to create directories, to create shell, uh, excuse me, files, scripts. Um, you can go to the Code Academy course, learn the command line. It's a good course. Unfortunately, it's not free. So you do have to sign up. Um, you do need the pro plan, but you can sign up for the pro plan and cancel with it in seven days and there'll be no charge. Um, there are also many other online tutorials. Just search for command line tutorials. Um, again, it, depending on your OS that you're running, Windows PowerShell is slightly different than a Bash or a Z shell, which you would run on Linux or Mac OS. But knowing both is a good thing to know. If you do find a good tutorial for the command line or any good tutorials about these subjects, we do have a pregame channel in our Discord server and supplying the link to that tutorial would be very helpful for your other students, or other, your fellow classmates. This semester, we're gonna be doing web development. So we're gonna learn HTML and CSS. Uh, we have a whole week on that and we'll be using it for weeks and weeks and weeks. If you're not familiar with basics of HTML and CSS, 
I recommend the Khan Academy course on HTML and CSS. It's free. Um, it's not rocket science, but it is a good starting point for understanding the DOM and CSS selectors, etc. Again, if you do find another good tutorial, please share it with the class in the pregame channel. Uh, we'll set that up pretty soon. There's definitely many, many tutorials on HTML and CSS out there. Some are much better than others. Uh, we did that. This class, we're going to be using TypeScript, which is an extension to JavaScript. So you want to take a look at learning. If you're not familiar with JavaScript, um, JavaScript and TypeScript, again, the Code Academy, you can sign up for an account. They have a JavaScript track, which gives you the basics of JavaScript. TypeScript is just an extension that allows you to apply types. So I, you should understand JavaScript to some degree, and then you can go and do the learn TypeScript fundamentals. Both of these tracks are free on the Code Academy, so you might want to play around with them. Also, there's a bunch of other fundamentals or TypeScript tracks, the other courses that you may want to play with. You, again, you don't have to do them all, but you should be at least familiar with the, the um, languages because we're going to be using it. Um, we'll be actually using a, a tool that allows you to write TypeScript in your browser and run it. So we're going to be playing around that in the first couple weeks. Again, if you find another good tutorial on JavaScript or TypeScript, feel free to share it in the free game channel to let other people know about it. Uh, we're going to be using VS Code as our brow as our IDE. Uh, in previous semesters, we used an, a product called IntelliJ IDEA, which is a great uh, I, IDE. Uh, VS Code is caught up, if, is, and also the other benefit of VS Code is it's free, um, and it's supported, um, and it does a great job with most languages and things like JavaScript, uh, React, HTML, CSS, all the kinds of things. Um, it's free, you can download it, you may want to start fooling around with it before we get into it. Uh, it'll be a couple of weeks before we actually get into VS Code. Um, take a look at some of the tutorials and the documentation. Uh, you may also start a one look at some of the plugins that they have to help make your life so much easier when you're coding. The GitHub Copilot plugin is actually a fairly nice thing that it gives you decent support. And we'll be learning a lot about GitHub and Copilot as we go along in the semester. So if you don't have it installed already, I recommend that you install uh, Visual Studio Code on your laptop and be at least familiar with how to start it up and get it going. Um, and lastly, we're using Discord as our main communication beyond this website. So I, we will send out an email link to join our Discord server once we've set it up. So if not, please contact your instructor for the link. We'll set it up. You can join. Please read through the welcome channel and post an introduction, an intro, your introduction. So like who you are or your name and follow the rules, set up your, uh, your, uh, your image so that we want to be able to see who you are and make sure you got your name, not your discord name. Again, you can post comments in the pregame experience in the pregame channel. And that is the pregame. We're going to be starting this up in a month. Um, it gives you a introduction to the things that we're going to be doing in ICS 314. And it's a good sort of thing to get your head back into school. And let's get going. I'm looking forward to this semester. Thank you very much.